Let me introduce to you ReZero. This little fella was developed by a group of 10 undergraduate students at the Autonomous Systems Laboratory at ETH Zurich. Our robot belongs to a family of robots called ballbots. Instead of wheels, a ballbot is balancing and moving on one single ball. The main characteristics of such a system is that there's one sole contact point to the ground. This means that the robot is inherently unstable. It's like when I'm trying to stand on one foot. You might ask yourself, what's the usefulness of a robot that's unstable? And I will explain that in a second. Let me first explain how ReZero actually keeps his balance. ReZero keeps his balance by constantly measuring his pitch angle with a sensor. He then counteracts in the voids toppling over by turning the motors appropriately. This happens 160 times per second, and if anything fails during this process, ReZero would immediately fall to the ground. Now, to move and to balance, ReZero needs to turn the ball. The ball is driven by three special wheels that allow ReZero to move into any direction and also move around his own axis at the same time. Due to his instability, ReZero is always in motion. Now, here's the trick. It's indeed exactly this instability that allows a robot to move very dynamic. Let's play a little. You might have wondered what happens if I give the robot a little push. In this mode, he's trying to maintain his position. For the next demo, I'd like you to introduce to my colleagues Michael on the computer and Thomas, who's helping me on stage. In the next mode, ReZero is passive and we can move him around. With almost no force, I can control his position and his velocity. We can also make him spin. In the next mode, we can get ReZero to follow a person. He's now keeping a constant distance to Thomas. This works with a laser sensor that's mounted on top of ReZero. With the same method, we can also get him to circle a person. We call this the orbiting mode. All right, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> now, what's the use of this technology? For now, it's an experiment, but let me show you some possible future applications. ReZero could be used in exhibitions or parks. With a screen, it could inform people or show them around in a fun and entertaining way. In a hospital, this device could be used to carry around medical equipment. Due to the Boltbot system, it has a very small footprint and it's also easy to move around. And of course, who wouldn't like to take a ride on one of these? <laughs> now, these are more practical applications, but there's also a certain beauty within this technology.
Thank you. Thank you. The precision of a watch is a function of its movement. For Rolex and for Hans Wilsdorf, to guarantee the precision of a timepiece, the pressing question was how to protect the movement itself from the elements, not only water, but also tiny particles of dust. In 1926, a major step was taken with the creation of the world's first waterproof and dustproof wristwatch. The Rolex Oyster was born. Over the years, subtle changes in the design continued to improve the Oyster, adding more comfort while keeping the style contemporary. And along with style, more functions have been added. A Rolex wristwatch was the first to show the date through a small aperture on the face. It was also the first wristwatch to spell out the day of the week in full. In the early 1950s, Rolex developed professional watches whose functions went far beyond telling the time. Launched in 1953, the Submariner was the first Rolex watch guaranteed waterproof to a depth of 100 meters. Already on an incredible journey of innovation and design, Rolex decided to push the boundaries even further in 1960, the Bathyscaf Trieste and Rolex made history. The submersible successfully dived to 10,916 meters below the surface of the ocean. A Rolex Deep Sea Special was strapped to the outside. The development of undersea exploration led to the launching in 1967 of the Sea Dweller 2000, waterproof to a depth of 610 meters. In 2008, fitted with the patented Rolex ring lock system, the Rolex Deep Sea safely descends to 3,900 meters. The Submariner continues to evolve. In 2008, the model in gold is redesigned and features a new unidirectional rotatable bezel with a Saracron disc. And two years later, the steel Submariner is introduced with a green color combination. Rolex has incorporated countless hours and more than a century of experience, years of research, innovation and development into every one of its models. and the benefits arising from this work, including waterproofness, precision, and durability, are the result of Rolex's continuous pursuit of perfection. From the most elegant and prestigious models to the professional timepieces, all are exquisitely crafted. Piece by piece, we design and manufacture every single watch. And the story continues.